Uh, is it now the right verse? But Suniti told me it's this side, so I think it is. 80. <laughs> and um, I like to continue in this. From Prema Bhakti Chandrika of our Navakamdas Thakur. Just all three are coming. <laughs> I want Narutam Das right in this verse without prema. The devotee feels miserable and lifeless, like a fish out of water. He is exclusively attached to prema. Just as a Chataka bird only lives on rainwater. Can you explain this Chataka bird? What is uh, <coughs> okay? Uh, sometimes, <laughs> sorry, this is a little information. Uh, there is mainly two kinds of bodies, uh, you know. Uh, is described. This is a Chataka bird and Takora bird. Uh, Ch Chataka bird. Oh, it my, is. I mean, my is the, but, um, no other water. It's a. Uh, Takora. Oh, there, there is it's some voice. Oh, is on, I think. Well, it's working, and now it's all dust green and stuff. So when you need it. Uh, from the, the downstairs. Down they open the mic. Please close the mic in the basement. Bandacharan Maharaj. <laughs> Andaka, you can close this vo voice. Okay. Okay, again. So, in. Wow. You know, this is, uh, this is the yoga shakti, my yoga shakti, you know, yeah, this is real shakti. Yeah, this is the shakti. So again, so this is some information I, I can give. So then, uh, in, if we read the scriptures, uh, it's Chakora Bad and Chataka Bad is sometimes coming up. So this mentioned Chataka Bad lives only rain water, no other water, yeah. very one point. <laughs> and also sometimes Chakora bird, uh, I don't know really, but uh, Shastra said, they live a uh, kind of moon, moonlight. They live by moonlight. So this is Chakora bird and Chataka bird is like a specifically described in, in this book, uh, Prembakti Chandrika and other Lashka books, this kind of one pointedness. Because, you know, there's many kinds of water, pond, river, and, and many, and many water. But this, this bird is only big on. This is very described as one point. So that means they are sitting, waiting for rain and yes. open mouth. Yes. With fresh flowers. No, usually rainwater. Because it means it kind of depend on the mercy of rain. You know, sometimes also. And sometimes we try to do this, do that, but some sometimes only waiting for the mercy. In Srimad Bhagavatam described one sadhu staying in one spot like like snake, like a crocodile. And then Prad Maharaj came and asked him, Sadhu, why you are staying in one place? 
And uh, how you can, can be flat? That sound is quite flat, not skinny. How can you survive? Grand Maharaj asking this sub. And then the sub describes actually according to our destiny, whatever we needed provided by the massive Lord provided. Sometimes I can live in palace like king. Sometimes I can live on the street like poor guy. You know? So, but the different situation the Lord gives, I accept whatever Lord gives. So this this Chataka Bad is completely depend on the mercy of the Lord. So live on only land water. So we, we also like this. So we are thinking by our endeavor we are living, or by my work we are living. But actually, we are living on the mercy of Raga. This is reality. <laughs> Very nice. So we have to be calm. We have to be uh, peaceful to wait. Yes. But so it's sure that mercy will come. And then we will get not raindrops, but rema. And yeah, so yesterday we we went to Barishana. So Barishana means kind of kind of Barishana means rain. Mm -hmm. So because you know, so mercy of rain is coming. <clears throat> And uh, we went, and then <laughs> rain is coming, but not heavy rain, like mist. Mm -hmm. So the devotee was amazing, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, rain comes, but not too hot, and not too much rain. It's very kind of, what is it, uh, very favorable for us. Mm -hmm. So similarly, mm -hmm. by the mass, the mass of Radharani is very mm -hmm. sweet. So, whatever you know, we need. And uh, also, good day to say today, lay, uh, today is good weather. Mm -hmm. You have to go it. If too much sunshine, then the body might be a problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, by your mercy. You know, sometimes rain comes, but like mist, the body says, oh, actually, good. Like a blessing. Yeah, like a yeah. blessing. <laughs> Without prema, a devotee feels miserable and lifeless like a fish out of water. He is exclusively attached to prema. Attached to prema is the nature of the soul. We do the unnatural things, Prabhupada, why light? We are practicing unnatural things, no natural things. So if we are not normal, we want to die unnormal, even. This is the problem. But we don't know where to do prema. We do the prema to the senses. We do the prema to the body. We do the prema to the mind. Is unnatural thing. So we reduce that what belongs to us. That is not true. It is a temporary. This will never go with you. Today it looks nice, but it's like a like a big Krishna, like a running up for the desert. Mm. Running for the desert. Could you hear Guru Dev's words? Keep yeah. the mic here, this side the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, here, here. Okay. All they will bless you. All yeah. Prema is the way. Prema is the goal. Prema is my life. Sadhan Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti, and Prem Bhakti. 
Prema is the highest sadhana. But where? Material or spiritual? Never be in, in this material body. What is sadhana I'm doing? Sadhana is my activity. Hmm. What sadhana? But? Sadhana is a two practice. I hold a work for myself. Is also I'm doing sadhana. <laughs> Ego sadhana. Sadhana for me or for service. That is sadhana. I use myself with which place. If I need bhavakti, I have to do sadhana same way. Bhavakti. With the feelings to grow. Sadhana, I do to develop bhavakti. Mm. Not for the uh, living in the material world. Who will recognize that? Mm. Material person will recognize it. It's true. Russian is also not less now. Well, there are some say that they are doing sadhana for purification, that divine love can come. The purification means what? One piece there. One piece. I have six there. One, two pieces there. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. ah. Sadhana, you will come in picture, so sit there. Yeah. Sadhana, purification. Why purify? Mm -hmm. Purify for the power because purification is not happening without power. But many they're saying that well, they are changing they, your They your don't time. know the sadhana. They do the body activities, outer activities. Bhaji bhakta, they are bhaji. If bhava is not a goal, it means bhaji. One, two things. Bhaji bhakta. Or Bhava. We do sadhana for that. Maybe a little bit explain. Is okay with that? Yeah. So Baba Bhakti is doing by spiritual body, by spiritual feeling. A sadhana bhakti is doing this material body. So why we do sadhana bhakti? Because to attain spiritual body spiritual body service. This is the aim. And sadhana bhakti is two kinds. One is Bhaiti bhakti and one is Raganuga bhakti. So Rashka Vaishnava is practicing Raga Nuga bhakti to attain Baba bhakti. And through Baba bhakti we can attain Prema bhakti. Like Baba bhakti is same, like Prema bhakti almost same. Yes, that is the point. One is a sadhan bhakti, means bhaiji bhakti. Or one is a bha bhakti, is the raj bhakti. Two, two types. One on the purification of my senses, body, and activities. Bha bhakti, how to go beyond this body. That is bha bhakti. So that means. So we say, Govindamo is said, purification, actually purification attained to spiritual senses. Ajah Vita. Yes. Very good. So this is the point. So what you want? Oh, I understand this also is purification means to come on the soul level. 
This is the first step. And after that, we have to develop our spiritual senses and our spiritual relationship. And this, if we're growing in this, we come to the point that we exchange loving feelings. And there we get the prema also. It's, 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 it's uh, simple. And what Guru Dev always explained, it's a natural. This is natural. Then we come. And we want to live in the unnatural, unnatural. way, and suffering way, Mana is running for the desert. No problem, Bhadi Bhakti <laughs> and Bhadi Bhakti. <laughs> and then you go in uh, what life you can say. But Bhava Bhakti is not real. No. Sorry to say that Bhava Bhakti is not come. Prima Bhakti is very far. We like the Jews of our Seva. Seva Rasa. This is the juice out of the Seva. In the eternal body, in the eternal identification as a maidservant. The first step is to understand that we are not this body, we are eternal soul. And then we can go further by the guidance of our Guru Dev to enter the spiritual body, to enter spiritual relationship, and this is an eternal thing and not a temporary, uh, what to say, <laughs> hypnosis. It's uh, like uh, we, we believe in things that is, are temporary, even we are eternal. That's normally, if I we explain this. Is it bad side, then nobody will judge. Here is the way. Take the school, leave it. This is to here. Take from there. Sometimes when we explain this, yeah, nobody will go. then it sounds like it cannot be true, that we believe in this. Isn't it? When we get open eyes by these books, we understand, wow, we are eternal, yes. But why we are still in this material? Not that true. We know everything, but still we hang on this bodily. Sri Thakur Mahasaya advises all the practitioners who desire prema to give up all material desires and to become fixed in prema. <laughs> this is the point. What again, Ray? Silatako Mahasaya. Advice. Advice. Advice means use one suggestion for you. And now you I have to decide myself. Yeah. You do not want to reach to Prema. You want to go in Halus and then different. If you have, if you want Prema, real love. <laughs> And these kind of advices are very powerful words we read in the Vilakush Manjali. The the Mahatma will only advise them, not rather. No. This is the Siddha Purush. It's our decision. You take decision. I have to take my decision. Yeah. All the practitioners who desire prema to give up all material desires and to become fixed in prema. Material desires, we have to think about the meaning of this material desires, what we would have explained to our own. We can do the same as service to Swamini. We, we One not thing, material desire this also. If you, if you personally caring to your family, even 
That also has to pass. This is also material. It was so many times he was my father or grandfather. He became my son. Why you attach like this? We are so any type of thing materially attached to you. That has to I leave my material desire, but I am going to read about my family material desire. It's also material. Mm -hmm. But many misunderstand this. Yes, and they true. become inactive and think, okay, Krishna will take off me. Mm -hmm. I have, I leave my family, I make five sons, okay, but uh, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Many do like this. Many, many examples. But this is not the meaning. Meaning is, I do the same, but as a service. I live my family life, I take care of everyone, but it's my seva to Swamini. It's not my... Right? It's Little all. doubtful there. Also, when you have a material desire that is your son, is copy. Mm -hmm. He have to be feeling inward somehow. Mm -hmm. so like, like you do? My son, no, no, I still have attachment there. <laughs> so I am clear this. Um, also, why my progress is not there? Here is my missing point. I'm honest, I'm not lying. Some place I miss this my husband. No, no, I don't need. Yeah. No. But I say you, this is missing point in me. Some place I leave Swami for them. It's my That's I don't know, others not understand, but I feel inside. Mm. Nothing, all has to be zero. Only one has to be one. No can be. Any zero is useless before one. <laughs> <laughs> so, other zeros is useless before, if there is not one. Every zero is zero before one. All zero is useful after one. <laughs> is to understand you no know, everyone has to think about them own themselves what things I'm hiding to our Swami I take to myself and think it's my It's an important point and everyone has to work on him. I'm working on this. <laughs> this yeah. This, yeah, is yeah. this says sadhana. Yeah. It's not looking out right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like to look into others. This is more easy to understand the problems of others. Any zero is useless before. <laughs> right or not there? Yes, yes, you are right. That is, that is, so, like Radha Govindas Bhaji Maharaj, 
she denounced everything to give Vrindava. So, but also we are not to we are not to denounce in immaturity. So better to do, you know, kind of family life and go through, and then slowly, slowly our desires decreasing. And then final denounce is okay, but uh, you know, from younger age is not so much recommended. But uh, anyway, finally we have to be one pointed. If someone who has only Swamini, that can be attained perfection. But if Guru Dev said, if we have some subtle desire to have some material desire, even family family members, then it's not the, enough to go. To yeah. be, be yeah. made a servant or other. That we can learn by Jesus when um, at least, at last, he gave up his own body. He did not care. And this is the last point, I would say. Before there is family, and then is the own body. Before family, there are all our goods, our house, and so on. And then before that is our land, for example, and so on. This is all our identification, land, nationality, our goods, family, and then our own body. And even this body, he gave up to his father. He, he served his body. He could run away anytime, no problem. He could live somewhere else, hide him for one, two years, then he can come back, no problem. But he did not. He showed the whole world, I don't care about this body. I offer it to my father. If he desire this body, no problem. And another, we can read about when his mother came in the association, when he sit there, then they said, oh, Jesus, your mother is outside. And your brothers are waiting for you. And then he said, Oh, why you disturb me? Here, sitting, my mothers and my brothers are sitting here. It's beautiful, huh? Wow. This, wow. this view, so he, what Gurdjie said, the universal. There is no more difference between the souls. If you are on a soul level, you don't care about this. Everybody is your, getting your mother, father, sister, son, daughter. What is many? Means I am in soul level, so I see everywhere. And when I am in body level, I will see individual person. Mm -hmm. This is the difference. Mm -hmm. This is material, one is spiritual. Mm -hmm. One is Bhadi Bhakti, one is Raga Bhakti. Mm -hmm. That is Bhadri and Raja, mm. who want to be looking to the body, mm. they are in Bhadri Bhakti. Mm. And who want to be beyond that, mm. that is Raga Bhakti. Mm. This is sadhana. Mm. This sadhana Bhakti brings you to Baba, Baba Bhakti. And Baba Bhakti brings you to Prema. Prema. Mm. Baba Bhakti brings you to Raga Bhakti. And Raga, and bhava, when it's combined, is the ananda. Ananda. Mm. Other place, no ananda. No. Borders. Who can mm. understand more than me? This? I was in Girastasram. I see Girastasram. Very open deep. I was king, son. If I touch like this something, I want. <laughs> <laughs> I say I want. I I want. I have to talk with it. I cannot understand. This is 
body was. I was so much body the identifying. I want. I want. <laughs> That person talking this thing. This is my realization. Till I will see the body, I will get the body, and I will live in my body. Consciousness. Is a body work. It's, we cannot grow myself. It's out of my body. We have to stay, there is no way out from that. Yes. <laughs> no way out, no opening. So nice. Rade, Rade. Yes. <laughs> but does it mean yeah. that uh, why the Bhakti will bring us nowhere, actually? If we don't change our wide uh, attention to do Raga Bhakti, it will not bring us anywhere. We will remain in the material world, in the goodness, and that's thought. That's all. Is it correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one, <laughs> and, <laughs> and and this one pointedness I, uh, I, is one actually point, you answer me. Yes. If I am maybe Vedi Bhakti or what you say, I am in the family life. I am living in the family. I am living with my wife and family and children. And I want Bhava Bhakti. What to do now? <laughs> Give the answer. To take association to Raga Bhakta. To create one pointence, one pointence in, in inside of me. Right, desires are important. Narayan Maharaj's greed is important. To come out, <laughs> ah, yes. Greed is important. Is Greed is important. Atma Sukha Priti Vancha Dare Kamana. Kam, what is Kama? For my enjoyment, something I do is a Kama. How you will come out, I say you. Atma Sukha Priti Vancha Dare Kamana. You are. Uh, 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 Jananda Maharaj will explain this. Atma Sukh Priti Vancha Dare Kamna. Krishna Sukh Priti Vancha Dare Premna. Jananda Maharaj will explain this. So, this must come from Chaitanya Charita This Atma. Atma is different meaning. This Atma means body. If we we attachment in this body, sense enjoyment, it is called the karma, material love. But if we attach Krishna or we say Radha Moha, that called the prema. So which direction? We want to attach our material body or material attachment. This is called the karma. But if we attach Radha Mohan 
or spiritual spiritual body of Radha and Krishna, or service of Radha Mohan. This is called the Prema. So same activity, even though same activity, but which intention we are, our consciousness, our consciousness, which way to go, material things or spiritual things, Radha Mohan or this material sense enjoyment. This is between karma and prema. So Gurudev is describing this is important for us. And Gurudev is saying greed, greed for Radha Mohan, greed for spiritual uh, Radha Mohan Seva. If greed is coming, then our direction, our consciousness going to spiritual way. That is my humble, our humble explanation. So motivation is changing everything. Motivation, why I'm doing. Yes, and also goal, goal is different. Goal is material things or material enjoyment. My enjoyment, my family enjoyment, this is karma. But the spiritual enjoyment is for Radha Mohan's pleasure. Then this is forever. Now I more details explain. Yeah. Where I see, I see you, my dear. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Where I see, there is not, no, no, nothing other. I see you all. Oh, wow. Wow. And if you want, I will serve you. Mm. Wow. That's the prema. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> Is my service not for my enjoyment? I take care of the, my wife because I'm the the I got this service to serve the private things. I do this service. Because this was your desire, I is a mercy for me. But this is, I see you also, that you are there. Wow. So I serve you. Wow. Understand? That is, karma can change in prema. Mm. Wow. It is a constant shame where I see only I see you. This is that one oneness is one before zero. Before zero is only one, no zero there. What I see, zero I see, but I see one. For me is only one. For others is a zero. For me is a one. For Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, every place mountain is Govardhan. Mm. Every river is Jamna for mm. him. Mm. For others is a zero. For Chaitanya is a one. Hmm. Understand? I, you are all senior, so I am not need to explain all details. You can understand this. He jumped in the ocean, Gurudev. Yes. By Prema. Yes. This is the love. Love for you made me to do that. And I am ready to serve in this way. Mm -hmm. Is my service, not my enjoyment. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Wow. 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 Thank you, Rudy. Yeah. Okay, tell me. I think there is no more to read now.
we got it. And it's so beautiful, this explanation of how good it is. And uh, we're really swimming in this uh, feelings of him. He, he brought us now on this point. And uh, when we will really see the behavior of our Mahaprabhu, how he could see everywhere this what Gurudev explained, and when he jumped in this ocean, uh, what a what a bliss, what a ecstasy. So in this, we we like to meditate now, and uh, this is a beautiful picture how we can see the the world by his mercy and by Gurudev's mercy. Yeah. And also, I just uh, <coughs> remember. Radhika became mad after Krishna. So Radhika, Radhika see Tamara tree bring this blanket as Krishna. So whatever some Buraki thinks, Radhika always thinking, oh, this is Krishna, Moham. So this is Mahababu is Radhika's mood. So, Guru Dev saying, saying the mountain, Mahaprabhu singing, Govardhan. And some water sing, see, see, see the sea. And then, oh, this is uh, jumping. Mm -hmm. And then jump. And bring them. So, this is our meditation. Whenever we see, we see our Swami. So again, today we came in the explanation, maybe 10 words, I think we, we did in this verse. So we fix our point. So we can see in the scriptures, no need to, to read as much as possible. But if we enter these words of the Mahajans, every word is uh, amazing. Rade, rade. Yeah. Now is our Ita Italy, no? It's a uh, uh, Bhajan, no? Isn't it? Yeah, Bhajan. Yeah. Bhajan class now. Engineer service in Radhe Radhe. Thank you. Radhe Radhe Guru Dev. Jai Sri Radhe. Jai Jai Sri Radhe. Jai Jai. I love you. I love you, all of you. Bless me. Yes. That I love myself. Yeah. 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 Actually, hit the mic first. It's not close, there's a battery will down. You have to switch on. Mm. What, what was the question? Uh, so could, could you could you could you come and more question because they are not clear? Yeah. And my question is, um, Baba Bhakti is also practicing Holi, yes, in this world, somehow, yes? So what is the, uh, this uh, final terminal point for which state it is on the spiritual level when this Baba Bhakti stops here in this world? No, you can, we have to. Yeah. 
you like not say yes Rade, Rade, excuse me. Is it possible to say it again because the voice was not so clear? Maybe mic. too far from the mic? Yeah, Rade, Rade, can you hear? Would be very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, my question was about Baba Bhakti. Uh, because it's also practicing in the body, in this world. It means that there is some terminal point, some final point where this Baba Bhakti in this world stops no, and continues yeah. somewhere we else. Answer, so my question is, what is the state uh, and what is this final, the most terminal point on the spiritual path? Actually, what came in my mind to this is our example of Raghunathas Goswami. So, and I cannot see any limit in this world even, because he enters this border in this body. He goes in the spiritual level, even in the time he was in this body, but he changed the body. And so there is no limit. He came in this abode, even in the time he was here, present on earth. But he did not recognize even this body then. He, we read Villa Kushmanjali, we can see how it happened when he is in separation and when he is in meeting. So this bath, Actually, we can reach now, and there is then no limit. Only follow the footsteps of those Acharyas. But Jesus, he was never limited to this. And that was. There was no, there is no limit. When we say, okay, we are in a material body and we can only reach this level. No, we can reach every level. It depends on Swamini's mercy, on our greed, mercy of Gurudev, all these ingredients will bring us to the level of Prema. 100%, there is no limit. And then you see uh, our Raghunath, how he is in ecstasy. He, he, he serves Swamini in all details. And still his body is sitting there on Radha Kund, but no meaning, no hunger, no thirsty. Others have to take care of a hut. He's sitting in the sun there. So he, he goes beyond all material. And he was really in the spiritual transcendent. So, Gorasundara explained the highest explanation. So, I just explained a little bit more, uh, sorry, some little information also. So, Gurudev said, or Nara Maharaj said, greed is important. Then, question arises, what kind of greed we need? That is what kind of goal, what kind of relationship we need. So, and then two way, Aishwarya Baba and Madhura Baba. Aishwarya Baba is like more or less Vaikuntha or maybe Dwaraka. And Madhura Baba is Guraja Baba. So among the Guraja Baba, what kind of relationship we want to have it? Friendly relationship, parental relationship, or, or gopi, as gopi, or saki, or manjari. So we, we have to fix the goal. Say, have to fix goal. Goal is for Krishna, goal is Krishna, or goal is Radha. Goal is servant of Krishna, or a goal of maid servant for, of Radha. This should be fixed, 
And then that greed is important. Especially Mahaprabhu explained to Mahaprabhu gave us Unna to Ujjwadasa. No other incarnation, no other age did not disclose. Mahaprabhu disclosed us topmost secret. Secret. This is describes Gora, you know, Gora Sundara. This is like Raghunadas Goswami. We want to become maid servant of Sri Matikra. This is this Baba is called Baba Urasa Rasa. Sometimes we say Manjari Baba. So which kind of greed we want? And especially Mahaprabhu, Rupa Raghunata line is stressing. We want to become maid servant of Srimati Radhara. So our goal is our Gurudev's goal is our goal also. Our goal. That is it. I just simply explanation that I can make.